Hey, it's Alex from Air here to give you a quick rundown of some of what's new and improved in Playout 1 version 5.2. Let's get stuck in with improved support for WebVT on mobile devices. We built WebVT to be the ultimate companion for your remotes or outside broadcasts, so we thought it was about time the way it works on touchscreen devices lives up to that. When you go to log into WebVT, you'll notice it's now fully responsive and will adapt to the screen size of whatever device you're using. The log layout's been adjusted, and other UI components like buttons have been adjusted so it looks right on whatever device you're using. You can pick and choose which columns you want to see on the log, so you'll always have the information you need at a glance. And for anything that can't be shown on smaller devices, it's easy to scroll with two fingers. Next up is production mode, a quick and easy way to bypass the audio engine if you just want to use your local machine sound card. At the top of the log, you'll see there's a new P button. Press that, and then you can easily drag any item from the log or your media library onto the players. It'll only play out from your local machine and won't go to air. You'll find a similar toggle in the quick keys, which will allow the audio to be played back locally rather than put to air. Next up are tags, a quick and easy way to categorize your Playout 1 audio. If you go to the launcher and open up the new tag manager, you can create an unlimited number of tags which you can apply to your audio. If we wanted to group all of our party tracks together, we can easily do that from the log as a bulk operation or by editing individual media items. One of the neat features with tags is that you can pick and choose which stations you want tagged items to play on. So for example, if you didn't want any oldies tracks to go out on your hot AC station, it's really easy to make sure that doesn't happen by accident. And finally, we've been hard at work to make Playout 1 more useful than ever. Version 5.2 brings tons of new integrations, including one with radio workflow, so you can easily bring in and reconcile your traffic logs. Just head to your station settings in Monitor, click the miscellaneous tab, and you'll see a new section for radio workflow. Once you enable that, hit authenticate, and you just need to enter your login details. In just a few clicks, Playout 1 and radio workflow will be directly linked. Those are just some of the new features and improvements we've made to Playout 1 in version 5.2. If you want a full rundown of everything that's changed, head over to support.air.com and check out the release notes.